I think it's interesting when people wonder why is a museum of this quality that attracts visitors literally from all over the world, why is it in Kansas? It's a testament to Kansans. It's a testament to a woman who was raised in Oklahoma, moved to Hutchinson, but had visited planetariums in other places in the world and felt that everyone everywhere should have that access to understand the universe. That all started in 1962. Patty Carey put on planetarium shows for local school children and eventually adults, and it grew and grew until we came to the campus of Hutchinson Community College and are what you see today. The Cosmosphere is a leading space museum combined with a top-notch education center. We have the world's largest combination of Soviet era and U.S. space artifacts. We have the largest collection outside of the National Air and Space Museum, so the largest collection outside of the Smithsonian. That collection combined allows us to tell the story of the space race unlike you'll find any place in the world. When Discovery Channel decided to get the Liberty Bell 7 from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, they partnered with the Cosmosphere to do that. The beauty of our collection and the fact that it is so unique is that it's accessible to people in the Midwest, it's accessible to people on the coast. Every state and every U.S. territory is represented in our visitors every year. In 2019, we had visitors from 48 foreign countries to see the Cosmosphere. People that know space know about the Cosmosphere, but the fact is everyone can take something away from it. I think every family deserves to visit a museum together. It teaches respect for the past, but it also, in the case of the Cosmosphere, showcases exactly the failure and adversity that mission control astronauts had to overcome to get man to the moon. We all owe it to ourselves to understand that part of our past and then understand how it's preparing us for the future.